very ba- I mean, firstly, such a such a sentencing en masse of people to the death penalty uh, is is really uh, appalling. I mean, you can't possibly have a fair trial in two days of, of one person, let alone 529. Um, three quarters of them, more than three quarters of them, just under 400 people weren't even present in court. Um, the judge didn't even read out the names of all the people. Uh, we're not clear on what all the charges were for each individual because of the way the, the process went. Um, but, you know, charges include things like member membership of the Muslim Brotherhood. Well, most of these people were arrested before the Muslim Brotherhood was even made an illegal organization. Um, uh, one policeman was killed, but you can't convict 529 people for killing one person. So the, the, the irregularities are quite extraordinary and on a, on a scale we, we can't recall having come across in any other trial. And we don't believe uh, such uh, uh, mass sentencing to the death penalty has occurred anywhere in recent decades. Well, I think, you know, undoubtedly defense lawyers and the defense lawyers are complaining about a whole range of things. They weren't able to defend their clients properly. They weren't able to present the briefs. Some of them weren't even able to meet their clients. Some defendants apparently didn't even have lawyers at all. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's, it's certain to go to appeal. And we, uh, we really hope that the appeals court, the cessation court, uh, uh, brings this back in line with uh, just all basic uh, standards of justice which appear to be breached uh, so far.